What's going on guys, Car Mechanic here, and this is episode two of the Learn With Me series. Let's do it. So as you can probably tell from the title, we are gonna be learning how to do the water bend. So I don't think there's much left to say. Let's just, let's just get started. That looks so nice. Look how beautiful that looks. So nice. Whew. All right, of course, start by splitting the deck. Using the ferrule, get the two halves together. Okay. Push that all the way in. Actually, how far are we going in? Oh, we're going far. All right, let's just uh, just pause real quick. Okay, so I got this. I got this new deck, um, Art of Cardistry. I actually got it like today, and uh, yeah, I opened it up and I actually like it quite a lot. Like it's a very nice deck. Like, look at this. So let, me show you, let me show you the Ace of Spades. Look at that. Look at the Ace of Spades right there. It's quite nice. I really like it. So, I mean, a lot of the cards are like that. You look at, like, the Queen of Diamonds. But So, there's a lot of cool cards. That's aside from the point. So, uh, he started off, broke the cards in about half. He executed the Pharaoh. If I could even do that. That would be great. There we go. Right, so he did that. He turned these over to the side. He pushed it pretty far in. See about here, I think. I don't know if he got to. He pushed it in about there. Then he had his thumb down here, like this. And this finger is here. This is curled in here and here. Now, how would I press play? All right, here we go. Uh, okay, we're here. Okay. So he takes his middle finger, stretches it out down there. Oh man, he just lets go. There's no way I can do that. Okay, yeah, so he does stretch it out past here. Yeah, might as well try it out. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, let's call. Let's let's pause. Yeah. Let me pick these cards up. All right. So he's going through the whole thing again. Um, we just started back up. All right. You start with the pharaoh. This is breaking it down. Um, when he did, when he pharaoh those two packets together. I one packet's definitely larger than the other packet. So when he's doing this. Uh, he's just ensuring that, wow, terrible pharaoh, but uh, he's just ensuring that the card out here and the card out here, well, at least, you know, they're both from the same packet. It's not like um, a regular pharaoh where the packet of one card's out and the other card is not. I hope that makes sense. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. But the whole point is the outside cards are all co coming from one covered packet. So that's what he does there. All right, so we're all good here. Play again. All right, so he takes this, he turns, oh no, okay. Turns it, well, I'm definitely holding it wrong. Turn, this goes here, this goes here. Okay, okay, so he's holding it, he's holding it like this like that this is held like this move this thumb here move these two fingers underneath shift this all the way here remove the thumb comes here with it comes here with this, this thumb move the middle finger over there
Oh, jeez. Okay, so these fingers are no longer curled in when he's doing it. Um, wow. That is an extremely short video. Okay, well, cool. We're not watching anymore, so, um, phew, okay. So I guess the way he first started, of course, he started with the pharaoh. So we get that going. Boom, we got that going. And I keep in mind, my pharaoh is still not perfect. But, oh, this card is on the outside. Don't want that. Or, oh, oh, God. Okay. All right. So, doing this. We're in this grip here. We push it all the way through. Take our thumb. Put it on the bottom here. Put this finger here. I don't even know how much you guys can see at this point. Probably all covered up. Put this here. Put this down here. And when you released it, it stayed for a little bit, like this, which is, seems like a good sign. And then he just let it all roll out. I have to say it's not terrible, but let's just go through the video real quick. One more time. You can skip some parts. All right, I understand. We all, we all understand the pharaoh part. Um, if you don't know how to do the pharaoh, um, learn it. The only reason I haven't made a tutorial on it yet is because my pharaoh is not perfect every time I do it. It's perfect like 60% of the time, but that's clearly not high enough. Alright, so that's what, that's what he does. He literally just does this, pushes this all the way in, moves his thumb down here, moves his finger here, middle finger there. Does he pinch with this? Oh, he doesn't even pinch. He just lets it... He lets it all go. See, but it's not... Huh. So currently he has those two fingers that are curled back there. So he moves that there. And he uncurls. And then lets the card fall. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Alright. So we're here... Boom, riffle those things together. Push that in. Uh, how far are we going? We're going pretty far in. Move the thumb down here. Come here like this. Move this finger, middle finger here. Am I missing anything? I guess he curls this in, but does that matter? terrible okay and one more thing that he's doing is keeping his uh pointer finger curled in there okay okay let me stop that no oh, no stop it now replay okay um so that makes sense uh i think i have the moves down i think the only thing left to do is to practice so let's just let's just get into just grinding it out all right, so hopefully you guys get a better view from this angle here. Now again, I love these cards. There's some very nice cards. So, all right, we're starting off. We cut the deck in half. I understood that part. Now, we riffle these cards together. Boom. Not, not perfect. I have this extra card out here, which I would prefer getting rid of. Let me just get rid of that for now. We'll get better at it as we as we go more, we tilt this, we push it down quite far. I remember, I think there was about this much room left here. And then now there should be a decent amount of room left down here to put your, your left thumb. So I put my thumb here, uh, move this over here. So it's kind of pinched between uh, my thumb and the flesh part of my hand. And then I move my middle finger to, man, I don't even need to see that. Push this. Yeah, move my middle finger to over here. And my thumb is actually right here. So let me see if I can give you a better angle on that. 
So my thumb is right here, my middle finger is there. And you can see these cards are starting to fall, which is not great, but it, it is what it is. All right, so I got that there, I got that there. I have this finger curled here on the back because that's what he was doing. And once we're in this position, I don't, I don't think he pinched this. I'm not sure we'll try different things out, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So he's like this. When he when he actually released, the card stayed for a bit and then started falling. So I don't know how he did that. But oh my god. Well, okay. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to start making the cards fall. And we'll start from a small distance and then we'll go bigger and bigger. Okay. Well, there's clearly that that was not good. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. Another run through. Bam, riffled. Boom, push together. All the way in like that. Move that finger down there. Put that there, move that middle finger there. And then we just start, not bad. At least I don't think it was too shabby. And let the card, oh, no, I lost the grip. It's not, ah, uh, man, it's not nearly as good looking as his. Another problem I think I'm having is balancing how the cards are falling. That's another big issue for me. All right, so he was pushing through, but I'm just leaving it like this instead of pushing it all the way through because I get the same grip here. But I think it would just be your preference. But again, I'm not an expert. I'm barely a beginner, so. Does that look better? Oh, let's go again. Oh, I don't even care about my, how well I'm doing the other thing. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't even care how well I'm farrowing the cards together. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Try again. See, at this point, it just seems like I'm doing like a waterfall or something, and I'm not bending the water, just falling. Uh, uh, okay, now I feel like I am setting it up correctly. I don't think there's anything wrong with the way I'm setting it up because um, aside from my pharaohs not clearly just not being perfect I don't think that should have that much that big of an impact so I think another thing that may affect what's going on is the amount of gap that's here and the amount of gap that's up there so I'm gonna try to increase the gap to about that much and that much on the bottom so I have my thumb down here right I have these cards like this now let's try it out with this much gap. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Uh, okay, let's try to decrease the gap because I don't think he had a big gap as far as I remember. So here we go. Boom, put those together. Do that. I'm gonna decrease the gap by just a little, little amount. So here we go again. Come on. That was, I think, slightly better. So I think that maybe that much gap is good. I need to like start measuring how much gap I'm putting. So I think it was about, I think it was about that much gap I gave up top. Okay, and we get into this position. Now another thing I think is the angle. So let's see how much of an angle I need. Uh, I don't think that was it. I do not think that was it. You know, I kind of want to go back to the riffle fan times because at least there I felt like I was making progress. Here I feel like I've been the same throughout the entire process. So boom, we're here again. Here we go. Nope.
So I think the main problem is, I feel like uh, breaking it down, right? When we're going through like this, uh, I throw the cards together. That's fine for the most part. We get like one or two cards here and there. We get to this point. I think the amount of gap that I had given like here is good enough. I get my thumb down there, that's fine. I get my middle finger moved to there, that's fine. And now the question is, how am I supposed to tilt so the cards just don't merge onto each other like they just did? Because I remember in his performance, the cards almost looked like they were falling uh, one at a time. But they were falling fast one at a time, whereas here it's like going either multiple cards are dropping at once or it's going way too fast so it doesn't even seem like it's a water bend it just seems like the cards are falling from my hand so that's I think that's a couple problems that I'm having I don't know about you guys hopefully you're doing better than I am Here we go again I feel like that was that was a bit more progress, right? Maybe, maybe not. I honestly don't know. Oh, I missed the days where I could just do a card spring, and like that was that was it. Oh, that was a bit rough though. Oh, makes me feel good when I can do something that you know actually works. I think another factor that I just realized is probably the amount that these cards are being pushed in together right because by the way that I'm pushing the cards in I'm barely pushing them in right when I do it I'm like barely pushing them in so let me actually try pushing them in a bit further like maybe that much so let's see if that helps oh god man I just my thumb moved and it, everything got screwed up all right, but I feel like I feel like that was some progress in the right direction. All right, here we go again. Now I also feel like when the cards are falling, they're not falling here, back here. I feel like they're falling a bit more forward, like up there. Maybe I'm not. I'm actually not sure anymore. I just I'm, I don't know. I'm confused. Oh my god, the cards keep on getting stuck. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be dandy and fine. It's kind of hard to find the right balance. If I tilt too much and the cards fall backwards like they just did. So it's really about finding that right balance as well. My god. I really don't know how people practice cardistry. Like, it's insane. You see people do it in like some amazing videos and you're like, oh wow, that's amazing, I wanna learn that. And then the second you start learning it, it's like, nah, maybe some other day. Oh, there we go again. Whew, okay. I'm gonna give it three more tries. Just if I could straighten the cards out. Here we go, try number two. Come on, come on, man. Come on, come on. Here we go, try number two. Okay, see, that wasn't far back enough, so the card fell forward. Okay, that was try number two. And try number three. Here we come. This is definitely not easy to do. Um, if you guys do it, let me know in the comment section below because I, you know, by the looks of it, I thought it'd be pretty easy. It's just a pharaoh and then you're just letting the cards drop. But this is so much harder than I expected. But I'll definitely be practicing this in the weeks to come. And, um, you know, when I get this down, I'll be uploading a video of it on my Insta. So you can check that out on there. But I think that's pretty much all I have for this video. Again, if you guys get this down, 
definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys got the wrestle fan down from my old video let me know that in the comments below also so there's there's a lot of cool learning that's going on and i hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully i helped you out with some water bend tips even though i didn't get it down myself but hopefully you guys had fun learning with me so that pretty much wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and as always thank you so much for watching make sure to go check out my patreon page to help support my channel because your support really means a lot to me so i'll put the link to that in the description and also in the description it's a link to all my social media so you can follow me on there for my photos videos status updates and all that kind of good stuff so all that being said i will see you in the next video Welcome to the end screen. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe because subscribing is good. Thanks for watching.